Hey guys, it's me David, and man, I've been looking forward to making this video. I'm gonna be showing you the Bad Batch Lego Clone Force 99 custom figures that I have made, and I am so excited to show them to you. Now, these figures are using custom products, but the body and legs, hands, and all of that is genuine Lego pieces. There are custom elements like the helmet, the backpack, and the weapons. So the first figure I have of the Bad Batch is Hunter, who is actually the leader. Um, his name actually kind of describes what his role in the Bad Batch is. He basically has heightened senses and can basically hunt and find things and so on and so forth. He's actually probably the most level-headed and cool of the group. So what I've done with the figure here is I'm using an aerial light custom helmet with a custom print on it you might notice that the printing on the uh, on the figures is a little bit different than the Lego printing that's because I'm using a different printing process so it has a slight texture to it you also notice that I have a custom print underneath that helmet with the uh, correct hairstyle that he has from the TV show gotta say I'm absolutely really thrilled with how that figure came out next up is Wrecker he is the muscle of the Bad Batch uh, so first off again custom printed helmet Full custom printing all around. Absolutely love the way this figure looks. He has a commando backpack, just like Hunter. Um, his helmet is black and matches to the show. It's using another Aerialite helmet. He also has a Brick Arms combat knife. It's no longer actually made. I had Will from Brick Arms actually specifically make that uh, knife again for this figure. He also has printing on the side of his leg for a pouch for the knife. It doesn't actually physically go in there, but the printing for it is there. Underneath his helmet, you'll see he has a full head print um, with his, I guess his, I guess it'd be the left eye technically missing. I, we, we don't, we don't have much clarification, but we have the full scars and all of those details we see from the show on the figure. After that is Tech, who is basically the brains or the nerd of the group. I absolutely love the Bad Batch. I just love all these characters and how they all have their own personalities. Same case here, full wraparound printing, custom helmet print, uh, commando backpack. There's actually a print beneath the torso on the backside. Same goes with all the other Bad Batch members as a DC-17 blaster. Now, I know a lot of you will probably comment below about Tech's helmet and what I did here. It is using a full print on the helmet. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you would say, why didn't you create those binoculars uh, that come down in front of his goggles? Why didn't you make that a separate piece? Honestly, it'd just be too difficult. It's totally possible as a one-off custom, but in, in reality, because I make these figures and sell them, I uh, just couldn't do that in a production environment. Next is his head print. As you can see, I, I really like the way it looks. It matches the helmet print one-to-one -one pretty well, actually. And of course, we have a hair piece, the slick hair piece that matches tech as well. And finally, we have Crosshair finishing out the Bad Batch. I gotta say, I'm absolutely thrilled with the way this figure looks in Lego form. He's probably my favorite figure out of the Lego Bad Batch. Um, in terms of the actual Bad Batch, Hunter's my favorite personality-wise. But I absolutely love the way Crosshair looks here in Lego form. He's using a Brick Arms A295 Blaster. It is not the probably most accurate sniper weapon to use but it's as close as I can get for this type of figure he also has a brick built backpack to attach that uh, sniper to it he also has an antenna that drops down just like seen in the show just like all the other figures he has a head print with a matching hair piece he also has a brick built backpack where you can attach that sniper weapon he also has the skull emblem on I believe one of his shoulder uh, prints along with all the other bad match members and he actually has a uh, back torso print just like again all the other Bad Batch figures with some grenades actually printed on there too just as a fun little touch. So those are my Bad Batch minifigures. I also have Commander Cody, Captain Rex, Kix, and Arc Jesse also here and just a little scene I threw together so you guys can see all the figures kind of together and you know kind of recreating the scene that we saw from the first episode of season seven of Star Wars The Clone Wars. I absolutely love how all of these figures came out. Now, again, I do want to remind everybody, these are custom printed figures. They're not using paint or anything like that. Uh, they are using genuine printing. It is a different method of printing. I know some of you will probably note that the uh, there's some fall off uh, printing on the side of the helmets and such like that. But overall, I'm really thrilled with the way the figures came out. So here's the full lineup of all of the figures. Again, I absolutely love the way they all came out to be. All these figures you see here are part of my Minifigs for You collection. Um, I do actually sell these figures in extremely, extremely limited quantities. The Bad Batch have been available for pre-order. We actually already sold out of those pre-orders, so we're gonna have a second pre-order coming again at my Minifigs for You site. I'll link down below if you're interested in purchasing. 
Um, the Bad Batch are expensive, but I promise you there is a lot of work that goes into those figures and it's absolutely worth it. Thank <laughs> you.